All right, Miss G is here with all the gossips and showbiz. Hello, Miss G. Hello. So over the weekend, we had the Golden Movie Awards, and Ghana became, you know, the biggest winner. There's a movie okay. by titled uh, a title Azali, and uh, it features some of the great people, including Ajitiana, Kofa, and all that. But first off, let's hear the reviews uh, from patrons, industry players who were there for the Golden Movie Awards. Let's be honest, it started a bit late, but I think they compensated it with a good production. It, it ran smoothly, and not to say none of the nominees deserve to win, but the winners actually also sort of deserve to win. So, um, all in all, it's, it's, a good, it, it, it's, it's a good event, and I think they should keep up with the good work. It is one uh, aspect of uh, our industry that I know very well that uh, uh, propels our industry to the kind of uh, levels or the higher highs that we are expecting it to go. I think it's been fantastic over the years and the consistency and and the, the, the class, I mean, everything about Golden Movie Awards is class, it's top notch. Um, it's not easy to actually recognize an industry that is supposed to be dying or to be, you know, wearing off. Um, I think they've done a great job. I came into the industry, I met Chakia Pia, I came into the industry, I met Nadia Buari. Yeah, people say they're my colleagues, granted. But whatever it is, it's not easy to make a hit, I keep saying that. So once they made a hit before I came into the hit experience, I would use this opportunity and this platform to congratulate them for being awarded and honored as um, young legends. Because I know one day I'll be celebrated too as well. Some of us, I mean me, I look up to them, you know. I watch them do their thing. I remember along the way I joined the industry. I saw them, I admire them. I really, you know, I really admire everything they did. I'm proud of them. I'm happy Mimi is acknowledging this young woman, you know, than like she said, waiting until they are in their 50s or 60s or whatever. So I think it's growing every year. It's getting better every year. And she's doing an amazing job. I mean... Mimi and Dani, she has a vision and is coming to life. I'm happy for her. I'm happy for the industry where we are going. So the scenes, uh, I think Zali, Azali or something, winning most of the awards, it was, it was really encouraging. It was very encouraging. Most, almost everyone is happy in there, you know, with that jamming in there, Zanku, Zanku and all that. All right, so um, uh, Nadia Buari, Jackie Apia, Roja Korte, Abdul Salam, Mumuni, Van Bika, and uh, some others were honored. But these five uh, were given the Walk of Fame. Okay. And I got to speak to Nadia Buari and your friend, Abdul Salam Mumuni. I was actually very honored, you know, to know that my works have been um, acknowledged, you know, and watched and appreciated. It's really humbling, yeah. But I'm grateful to the organizers for actually just acknowledging me, you know. Yeah. And I hear you're going to have your walk of the fame somewhere in the streets of... I, I, I heard Mimi talk about how she's yes. been doing... I think that would be amazing if they can actually do that because we travel all the way to Hollywood and take pictures with icons, people we look up to, and it's only fair that... Um, um, they do the same to celebrate us. I think it will be, it'll be awesome. <laughs> yeah, very amazing and so excited uh, to be in the industry almost 20 years and so happy that uh, they were able to recognize my work and I'm so happy. Do you think at a time you were starting this business that there was going to be a time like this where people will recognize the work that you've put in? Yeah, because I know entertainment business always... Uh, uh, gone back, uh, go back in the days was very bad, but when I came in, I realized that uh, the Rajam movies were doing very well, so I decided to invest more into the Ghanaian movies, and I know we're going to get there, and today we are there. When I came in, I realized that uh, uh, there is no any Ghanaian movies uh, in the market. We are all distribution Nigerian movies. So when I came in, I, I started uh, doing audition and uh, searching for artists. And so amazingly and very surprisingly for a lot of people, Oscar Provincial, who is a veteran actor, has never won any award uh, from the industry. Okay. The only award Oscar has won is one he got from NAFTI. 
And so on Saturday... Because, uh, you know, it's probably because these awards are pretty new. New, recent. maybe, maybe. Yeah. And for him, he's excited because he took 10 years off screen <laughs> only to come back with one movie, Big Van Wahala, and he grabs an award. Extremely humbled by it. Um, and to think that I've been really away from the industry for the past 10 years. And with my first major movie, I win an award. So yeah, I'm humbled, and um, we just give thanks and praise to the one that is up there that has made it all possible. And all the people, I mean, from the director, you know, and the fantastic cast and crew, um, couldn't do it without, without them. So, you know, uh, the, the award goes to them, not me. And if you look at the caliber of the films, that were, you know, on, on show, um, amazing films. I mean, Nazali, the one that was from Uganda, um, you can see that a lot of creativity has gone into it. And so hopefully we'll be looking forward to better films that will come out of Africa. And as I said up on the stage, we need to change the narrative that is currently hanging around Africa's neck. And the best tool, best format is film. We need to prepare Africa for Africa's rising. Okay, so that's him. But let me quickly introduce you to a man, uh, the man who's behind the movie that won the biggest the overall, Azali. Right. And for me, what interests me in his conversation is how he had to take them through, through Dagbani lessons just for this movie. But this is a story that resonates with most people, I mean, with what is happening. Um, this trend is, I mean, it's, it's as current as it is. So I think people really identify with the themes of the, the story. And, and also, to, like I said, it's, it's been really done properly. I mean, it's, it's really told well. So we used um, the, the most famous faces, I mean, we have in Ghana um, that we used the film, Ajit Yanan, um, Ama Kiaba Brese, um, Kofa Ajeni, and then um, Peter Richie, and then some support cast. AJT uh, Anand and then Akofa, for instance, had to uh, mean, um, undertake uh, Dagmani classes. So they spoke Dagmani throughout. And even when AJT followed the young girl to Accra to look for her, she had a northern accent. So you need to see it to I mean, appreciate his talent. Uh, he, he, I mean, people, Dagmani, uh, the natives who were on set couldn't believe that I mean, he wasn't one of them. Now that would be interesting. Very, very I, I, interesting. I, I'd love for somebody to come and you know call me in to cast me in a movie where they will say I'd, I'd uh, give ever lessons. lessons. Oh, that's ever easy. I can't lessons. even take you through that. Yeah. I'll take you through lessons out. Oh, okay. Apa. Uh huh. Okay, and you. Right. Thank you very much, Miss Chi. That'll be it.